So we're starting the new week with the help of Hashem, second week of Shavim. So I want to share with you a piece of inspiration that I got at uh, one of the students of Ramon from Nebrak. He wrote a nice, nice booklet about Shavim to and to explain that that it's not so much, not only about the the actual sins that we're speaking about in in that aspect yeah there's many all kinds of, of people that they say like i don't have to deal with those things because i never did those things so it's not relevant for me okay but even so what is the what stands behind any sin that the person would ever do that he looks on something that is forbidden for him and he have a desire for that, right? So, where is the desire is coming from? So, the, according to the Kabbalah, the the mean the understanding here is that there is spiritual power that holds the whole creation. So, when you see something, let, let's shalom aleichem. Let's let's take for like a very very simple example of of non non kosher chocolate. Okay, obviously you understand what I'm what I'm speaking about, but I'm just saying like non kosher chocolate that will be like more like nice to speak about. Okay, so let's say that there is there is non kosher chocolate that you're looking at, and you feel desire for that. You see, ah, it's such a good chocolate. Have it like all the all the things that I like in there, whatever it is, yeah. So what is it that really makes the attraction for that to the for the chocolate? Is that there is spiritual power inside of chocolate that you want that spiritual power. But instead of relating to the spiritual power that is there, you're relating the attraction that you feel to the external appearance of that chocolate. Okay? So that that here comes a mistake. That's 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 the point. Making that that confusion between the internal and the external, that is the source of the sin. Mm-hmm. Okay? When someone he thinks that what what he desires imagination, is right? the is the external it, imagination is definitely part of that, but mm-hmm. but the, the, the thing is that we have the wrong perception of what's what this world is all about. Yeah, most of the people, they, they look on this world and they what they see, physical, what they sense in their senses, that's what we know, that's what we like, that's what we want. That's it, period, finished, done deal. We know what we want. We want the physical, right? And the answer is that that's, that's the mistake. Really what we want is the spiritual behind it, but we don't, we don't see that, we don't feel that, we don't relate to that. So we are we are staying behind in the external appearance of the whole creation, and that's the source of the sin. Okay, that's so that's that's basically what Chovim is about. Is instead of of attaching ourselves to the external appearance of the world, is to do tikkun and to connect ourselves to the inner essence that is the spirituality that stands behind the physical okay and to choose that to choose Hashem right because the all of the spirituality all of the spiritual power that is holding the whole world the whole creation is Hashem so when we are when we are doing this tikkun show of him it basically to give ourselves the the power the inspiration to overcome the external physical appearance of the world around us and to relate and to connect to the inner essence of all what's all what's here in the in the world, this world and the upper worlds. So I will finish with that point. That Hashem wants our heart, right? But it also goes the opposite way, the opposite way. That our heart wants Hashem, right? So. Really, if we if we go deep into the the essence of our, of our heart, with all of the desires, all of the different chocolates that there are there, 
really what stands inside of everything is that we looking for the way to relate to Hashem and we want Hashem to relate to us and when we when we acknowledge that we accept that and we live according to that simple premise simple understanding that's that's basically to do the tikkun okay so all of the all of the all of the ways of the of the different prayers and the meditations and the fast days or redeeming the fast day in staka all of those different like techniques is to get to that point so Bezrat Hashem, I'm planning this week to continue with this with this uh, line. Can I, and can I ask a question, please? Yes, please. Um, so let's say you, the way I, I, like I have an impression you describe, it's like you 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 get more to the eco, you get more to the emet, instead of being stuck in the chut, in the chitniot, in the in the outside external. Right. Right. But the the change I then see is that you now understand the reality in a different way. Whereas your surrounding does not, so they might think like, "What's wrong with this guy, or with this okay. woman?" So <laughs> what about that? how how do you how, do that? how to deal with people around that will be a different class. That's that's that's, that's no, not right it's, now. It's a right part now, of the right problem. now, no, it's not. It's right now. It's not. It's not important. Mm-hmm. First of all, we have to we have to find the point of truth within ourselves, and to know what's what's what we and what's around us stands for how to deal with it, that will be the first step. Afterwards, how to relate with other people, how to connect to, uh, with other people, how to communicate, how, that's, uh, it's important. I'm yes, not saying no. Not an island. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, disagree. I agree. But right now, that's, that's not my point. That will be a different class. Anyhow, we'll hold it here. Amen, amen.